Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega Freak 400. Um, so yeah, it's the 10th of winter, which means the Thanksgiving festival. Uh, this is a pretty much pointless holiday of sorts. Um, basically, if you are uh, friends with one of your, or if you have a lover, uh, she will give you a cake. I think she might come to your farm, but if you don't want to wait for her, you can just go to where she is. I'm pretty sure that you can actually go to any girl and get a cake from her if you go to the location where she uh, exists, which I think they're pretty much just not that much different than the places you usually find the girls in the game. Like, I think Anne is at her farm and... Ooh, eggs. Now, it's kind of odd that... I guess then again, this is just game logic, but uh, the fact that Jack can just shove an entire egg into his mouth without even cooking it. Or it can, but like... That'd be, like, gross in real life. Anyway, um... I I guess I'll continue with... Not really continue, but... I mentioned yesterday there was one game that was interesting to me that... Uh, was a whole other issue entirely. And I've, if you've been listening to my Twitter... Or listening... You don't listen to Twitter. I guess you could listen to Twitter. It'd be weird if you listen to Twitter. But, um... I don't know, I guess too, too weird. Ah, never mind. Um... Disney Universe for the Wii... Uh, it's not just for the Wii, it's for a bunch of other game, uh, systems as well. Um, so, okay, here's basically the entire story, and, and I'll go through this entire thing again. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, and for anyone who does know, uh, go listen to Lady Gaga. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, basically a few weeks before E3, or at least a week before E3, uh, there was a whole... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna try- you know what? Let's make a fence for my horse, maybe. Of sorts. Waiting for maybe Anne to show up, if she does. Then again, this, yeah, making fence with the rocks are pretty useful, because then you don't waste any woods, wood, and then it makes it easy to find where your horse is. However, um, it, you should probably close it off, which I'm not gonna do only because, um, I don't know, because, because I can. But anyway, a few weeks before E3, a trailer was shown, a CG trailer um, of a game called Disney Universe. And it had, you know, little blue characters in suits of Disney characters. Um, and they had big heads and small bodies, and they were doing wacky hijinks. Uh, and that w and Stitch, Mike from Monsters, Inc., uh, Alice, and then the guy from Tron, um, that was all that was really shown of that game. It was just a, it was just a CG trailer. Uh, there was also, like, I think two picks of gameplay that weren't, were kind of, you had to search for them a little bit, and there was also a description about it. But for the most part, people just saw the CG trailer. Almost half, and I looked at various videos, almost over half of the people were like, oh my god, they're ripping off Little Big Planet. Okay, yes, the characters look similar to the style of Sackboy. They have big heads and small bodies. I don't think Little Big Planet invented that style of doing characters, so it's not ripping off Little Big Planet necessarily. You could say, well, they specifically got their inspiration from Little Big Planet. Fine. I I'm not going to really argue against character design. Fair enough. Um, they it does look similar. And the whole suit thing, it's like, well, yeah, they customized for Sackboy, but it's like, again, that's not something that Little Big Planet has done exclusively, so I yeah I, I fair enough it looks similar, but yeah everyone was saying it looked it was Little Big Planet ripoff. Even media outlets were saying it was a little you know like news sites were saying it was a little, little Big Planet ripoff. And then Telltale Games um, made a statement of while well, they're ripping off Lego Star Wars or Lego anything actually. Which, honestly, he's the only one who actually was correct in saying something was ripped off, because if you actually look at the gameplay screenshots, or looked at the gameplay... Sorry, I'm getting a little bit tense. Um, but if you looked at the gameplay screenshots, or if you looked at the, uh... Um... You know, the description, it was more... It was more along the lines of gameplay for, um... You know, the, the LEGO Star Wars games have four-player you know, working together to get through a level. It's more like that, if anything. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a ripoff of those games either, and really those games are the same game over and over again anyway, that they're milking to try and get more money, so... Either way, 
I, I honestly feel in general people should stop with the ripoff card because everything is inspired for some, from something. Nothing is entirely original, especially in this day and age. Nothing is entirely original. So I feel, you know, screaming, rip off! You know, it's just... I mean, it's like, for example, the whole Professor Latoric, or, or no, Dr. Latoric. Oh, and hello. Hey, the earthquake opened up a hot, hot water source in the mountains. We're thinking of building a hot spring. Cool, I will do that. And you do want to do this because you actually get a photo for doing this. And you get a hot spring, so... I think you get a hot spring no matter what, though, but whatever. Um, but yeah, basically the whole Dr. Latoric, which is basically definitely kind of inspired off of, um, you know, Professor Layton. But if you actually look at the gameplay, it's a little bit different. Again, obviously inspired. But, uh, A, just because something is ripped off doesn't mean it's, or is inspired by something else, doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. A, there's a lot of things that, you know, the ripoffs end up tending, tend, uh, tend to be, or, there's times that ripoffs are actually better than the original, so I think people claiming ripoff, that doesn't do anything. You could say, oh, eh, this looks like this, and, and leave it at that, you know, because a lot of things tend to have similarities from other games. Super Meat Boy um, is inspired from Super Mario Bros. The creators even said it was, that it was their version of sorts. The games are nothing alike for the most part, aside from just very basic elements, so... Obviously, again, some things are more uh, similar than others, but, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking ideas from the past and applying it to a new concept. I mean, that's how creative, that's how, you know, we get new, new creativity by coming up with, trying to come up with new ideas by feeding off the old ideas. Granted, there are some people who are just geniuses who can come up with an entirely new concept, and those people are saints, and I wish you know, I could be, in, you know, I or anyone could be entirely original and come up with new concepts. But the thing is, it is hard to do. I'm not saying, well, it's, it's fine to just rip off people. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if something's similar to something, it's not a horrible thing. It's the fact that it, um... There's a difference between exactly copying something else and making it exactly the same and having elements from something else and being, you know, slightly different and coming up with new concepts. Stop rushing in. But, um, come with a new concept. So, basically what I'm saying is, you know, a lot of things borrow elements from past works, and people should stop claiming that everything is ripping something else off. I think it's, it, part of it is the Western notion of property and ownership. Um, and, you know, that, you know that's, that's a big thing, that, that we own this, and it's ours, and they're ripping it off, or they're ripping off this person. And I feel like that sometimes is... A, bad way to think of things, personally. Anyway, back to my, my uh, story. I guess not really a story. So anyway, that was the entire thing that, oh, it was ripping off a little big planet. Okay, fair enough. I personally look, really like the song that was in the trailer, and it actually interested me, and I may actually want to get the game at some point, because um, it, you know, it, it, playing Epic Mickey, which I know had some issues, it was really enjoyable, and it I kind of got me on to wanting to buy many more Disney games, and, you know, Disney Universe looked interesting to me, personally. So I'm going to look into it. So E3 comes along, and they release another trailer, this time showing, you know, more CG animation, but also gameplay. And again, a lot of people said it was ripping off Little Big Planet. Now, I don't know if people just want to join the crowd, if they just want to, you know do what everyone else is saying, or if, you know, they just like being, uh, trolls. I don't know if that was the case for everyone, um, and also the news media for that matter, but it doesn't look like Little Big Player. The gameplay, it, I, I'm not, like, super familiar with Little Big Player. I'll give you that. I asked people who have played Little Big Player. I asked, you know, um, Guy Christian 9 specifically, he said, you played all the games, and, ooh, Blue Rock, um, he said, no, it doesn't look like a little big planet. It, and and for the most part, I didn't think it looked like a little big planet. Again, I haven't played the game, so I, I didn't know for sure. But like, the gameplay isn't the same. So why is everyone why is everyone so obsessed on saying it? If you were to say, hmm, the style is similar to Little Big Planet, fair enough, and a story. I, I just it just blows my mind about how ignorant people can be sometimes. And I I don't know. I just it it, it baffles me. I guess. I don't want, you know, I don't want to get angry about it, but it's like, I, 
how are so many people saying it looks like Little Big Planet when the gameplay is shown? And and then then no, to top it off, someone's made the comment of, um, yeah, it looks like Little Big Planet. I don't get why the Telltale guy said it looked like Lego Star Wars, and I'm like. I, my mind was like just mush because I, I couldn't understand I don't understand how people think some of these things if they really like are truly believing this I don't if the person honestly truly believes it doesn't it looks like Lobic Planet in terms of gameplay as well I honestly don't get how they think that I don't understand that it baffles me um if they're just like li I think a lot of times sometimes people get an opinion and they define a layer that their opinion is wrong necessarily, and the defense is to just keep defending it even though they know it's wrong. Um, because otherwise they'll, they'll look like a fool. Uh, there'll be times where there'll be a discussion I, um, that's been had that people will talk for a long time, and eventually they'll just, they'll know, they'll realize, you know what, this doesn't really matter all that much, I, I don't care all that much, or, um, Oh, I'm, I'm actually not all that correct, but they'll keep going anyway because they it's a pride thing. People don't want to admit that they're wrong, and everyone does it because it's kind of like a built-in defense of sorts. So I don't know if people just keep saying it's a little big plant because they said it when it first came out, and then when the second thing came out and they realized they were wrong, they kept saying it anyway just because A, everyone else was, so it's easy to, you know, fit in. But, um, and I mean, I, you know, I... I don't, I don't think it, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it actually is exactly like a little big planet. I, 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 maybe everyone who's told me it isn't like a little big planet is wrong and everyone else is right. I don't know, I guess. I, I've tried looking at little uh, big planet videos and none of them look like it. They all look, um, they all look, little big planet looks more like, you know, similar style like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and stuff in terms of the four player co-op, cooperative. And yeah, there is four-player cooperative, co whatever that word is, um, in Little Big Point, I believe. But you know, having a four-player game with big, big heads and customization doesn't equal Little Big Planet, a game that has that. And yeah, the characters are similar to that. Though personally, I think they're cuter. I think Sackboy is quite ugly. You know, I know people will say, Sackboy's ugly? How dare you think that? Well. I think he looks kind of ugly, personally. He's He doesn't look cute to me. I guess eh, his face looks somewhat cute, but even then, he's just mm, not really that cute. The blue guys, though, I think it's a color thing, because I, I don't... Brown isn't a cute color, so I think the fact that he's just a brown sack, just to me, doesn't read as cute, and I don't think it ever will. Though, I guess... Possibly you might be able to change colors. I don't know. I don't know enough about Little Big Planet. I admit, I don't know enough about Little Big Planet. I know enough about it that it's, you know, I know some things about it. I just don't know probably as much as I probably could, which is my own fault. I do know it doesn't look like Disney Universe, though. And yeah, if you give him the blue stone, you can uh, get a vase and buy it, because his vase will actually be fired in blue, and this will be put on your table, so it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I guess th that's something that's bugged me because it's like, I just, I just don't get under, understand how people think it looks like, I, I, I guess it's my thing. I don't understand how they think that, and I don't understand why they keep admitting that it looks, or keep saying it looks like that. Um, if, 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 it, if, for example, you can show me evidence, not really evidence, but if you can say, well, wait a minute, Mega, actually it does, and show me like a, you know, show me why. Fair enough. I'll admit I'm wrong if I if I'm honestly wrong. I just I just don't I don't understand how so many people think it looks like something when I just I don't I don't believe it is at the moment. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I already said why. I, I, it seems that people are thinking that way. I just I don't know. You would think people would uh, look it up or actually realize. You know, I guess part of it is, sometimes it feels like people say things or do things that are just unintelligent sometimes, or ignorant, and I guess part of me doesn't want to believe that that many people can be ignorant. I want to believe that people are smarter than that, and it, it just, and not that I'm like this super genius, I'm not, I make the same mistakes a lot of times, I, I just, it baffles me that there's so many people out there who just seem to do things that I'm looking at it and it's like 
I don't get what I don't get your thought process. Are you you know it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. I guess life doesn't make sense. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies, and see. There is a bird there, he is so happy. Shoot him down, sh Okay, no. I really, really should not. <laughs> <sighs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I guess some people will like that. I, I can't sing. I, I know I sing a lot sometimes, but I can't sing. Hello, cow. Or no, that's, that's burger, technically. I'm kind of looking inter actually interested in the Burger Time HD game um, that's coming out, or the, the revamped version of Burger Time, because I usually love Burger Time. Burger Time was one of the best uh, arcade games I played. Um, the HD one, or the, yeah, the, I say HD because that's what it's called, but I think they're changing the name for WiiWare, but, um, yeah, it looks interesting in my opinion. Looks intriguing. And there you are, I've been waiting for you. Yes, I've been waiting for you too. Hit a wedge in here. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this helps making the hot spring. Heck, the hot spring's already open. So I guess to be fair, we're, I think we're building the building around the hot spring. But again, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I guess I shouldn't, que I shouldn't question uh, um, N64 animation. They did their best. Do do do. Yeah, I, I really should. I really should buy another Harvest Moon game. I know this is kind of like out of nowhere, but I really. I've been thinking about it, and I really should buy one, another one. Um, and I know if people give me suggestions, I guess. Um, I guess I'll say, oh, oh, awesome! The blue feather's here. I can buy it and then store it. Um, and he'll give you a discount of uh, only 980 as opposed to 1,000. You had to be friends with him to get the discount, but you had to have. I think you had to be friends to get the blue feather in there anyway. And hello, long dots. When I'm daydreaming, I don't see or hear anything. Yeah, I f I'm the same way, I guess. Well, not exactly, but... But now we have the blue feather, so that's on hold. So when I the time is right, I will propose to Anne. Um, but anyway... Uh, yeah, I guess... Uh, in terms of a Harvest Moon game, I guess the things I'm thinking about are the SNES one or... One of the Wii ones. I guess... It, I guess... Yeah, I think our people already suggested that. But if you want to suggest a Harvest Moon game, give me the number one game I should try after you know for my second Harvest Moon, well third technically because a Wonderful Life. But anyway, this has been Mega Four Hundred, and I am reminding you that pie is not made of pigs.